Life's hard, but we're good though. So pause me. Alright guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I've already co-washed my hair with the Garnier Whole Blends Coconut Water and Vanilla Milk Conditioner. Now I'm sectioning my hair into four sections and going in with the matching coconut water and vanilla milk deep conditioner. You can see in my eyes, girl, you I do like to make sure that this is evenly distributed all throughout my hair. However, I mostly focus on the mid shaft and the ends of my hair to make sure that they're extremely moisturized and protected. Next, I like to place a disposable plastic shower cap on my head and I sit under the dryer for about 35 minutes. So 35 minutes is up, I like to let my head cool down first for about 5 minutes before rinsing the deep conditioner out of my hair. And as you can see, my curls are already starting to be more defined just from the deep conditioning and I am using the t-shirt method to dry my hair. I'm separating my hair into four sections to prepare it for styling and making it easier so that we can get through each section properly. So with a lot of trial and error, I've learned that with my wash and goes, the lock method works best for my hair. If you're unfamiliar with what the lock method is, it's just using a leave-in, an oil, and a cream to get your wash and goes. Starting with my leave-in, I'm using the Aussie Mega Moist Conditioner. This isn't an actual leave-in conditioner, it's actually a rinse out, but it's also a great way to style your hair, get a good hold and definition in your curls, and also save money. It has great slip as well, so you can also use this conditioner for co-washing. See, I'm making sure I'm evenly distributing this from root to tip, and I'm very heavy-handed with my leave-in, but not too, too much to cause any sort of flaking. Once I'm done applying my leave-in, I clip my hair back to keep my hair from drying out before applying my oil and my cream. This is a very good tip to keep in mind when you're using more than one product, especially in your wash and goes, because you don't want to apply products to dry hair because it won't absorb into the hair shaft as well. So I also like to keep a spray bottle handy um, to keep my hair wet and get the curls defined when applying my leave-in. Don't be sour, hey, yeah. Life's hard, but we're good though. So pause me the unto. Hey. Life's hard, but we're good though. So pause me the unto. I'm way, yeah, 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 we riding the way, yeah, yeah. It was game over as soon as you walked through the door. Now you're moving and grooving and swerving all over the floor. You can see in my eyes, girl, you already know what I want And it's crazy, this strength doesn't phase me when I'm in your zone My sweet coco, skin so soft and smooth Make I go look, whoa, whoa I gon' make I'm sing like Oh, I gon' make I'm sing like Baby, come on I'm just gonna apply my oil. I'm using the OGX Coconut Miracle Oil. This smells so good, y'all. And it makes my hair really shiny and soft. Then I'm following up with my The Dew Bonita Afro Bomb Texture Cream. This is my first time using this, but I'm already in love with this. I'm thinking about doing a one product wash and go with this. So if you wanna see that, comment down below or give me a thumbs up. Night, only just one night. I just wanna talk to you. Tell me what you're going through. I can make it right. You can see as I'm interchanging between the oil 
and the cream I'm mashing the product into my hair so that way my curls clump together and they define the curls but also give them great definition so soft and smooth make I go look whoa, whoa. I go make I'm so I will be honest, I was a little too heavy handed with the cream as you can see here um, because I did experience a little bit of flaking. So now I know, next go around, a little bit of the Bonita Alpha Balm, balm excuse me, Bonita Alpha Balm goes a long way. And this is all of the products in my hair. I like to let my hair air dry in my face so that my bang area falls forward. And of course I keep my hands out of my hair so that my hair doesn't get frizzy and I'm gonna let it air dry. So after two hours, I went ahead and did the banding method on my hair to help the drying process and prepare for bed. Using the Sunsi ribbon elastics, I band my hair into five sections, making sure to keep the sections in the direction I want the hair to fall once I take them down in the morning. Because I did this wash and go at night, this is why I did the banding method. Usually if I do it in the daytime, I don't have to band. I can just air dry for 10, 12, 20 hours and my hair will be completely dry. But because I had to go to sleep, we had to go with this process. Something choose one thing this can't wait. I've been thinking about where to take it out. Girl, I know a place. I know your taste. You don't have to be sour. Don't be sour. Hey. Let me take you to a place where we can do whatever. I can't take away your stress and make you feel much better. Don't hold back. You don't have to be like that. Don't be sad. And once I'm done banding my hair, I'm going to tie my satin scarf on, making sure they keep the sections flat and again in the correct direction. Then I'm going to put my bonnet on top for added protection. And as I am sleeping, most of my hair does dry overnight. However, the next morning when I get up, I do take the bands out and let my hair continue to air dry as I do my makeup and get ready for the day. Okay y'all, so don't talk about my blow dryer. The comb doesn't stay on, so I had to tape it, but I love my blow dryer. It works, it does the job, it gets it done. So going in with the low setting and on cool, it's time to stretch and blow. Stretch our hair and use the blow dryer. What are you guys thinking? So using the comb attachment, I like to pull my hair and stretch and dry my root just a little bit more because that is the part of my hair that is still kind of damp. So I just go through each section, pulling it apart, stretching it out, and really getting in there with the comb attachment as if it was a pick. Um, so I'm kind of picking my roots out, but with a blow dryer and cool and sometimes warm air, but never hot. I never put it on hot and I never put it on the highest setting. Something choose one thing this can't wait I've been thinking about where to take it out Girl, I know a place I know you're and speaking of picks, once my hair is completely dry, I do like to go in and fluff my hair out. Obviously, first day hair is never as big and as full as third or fourth day hair, but picking it out, picking my roots out, does help with the process of getting it that fullness and thickness that I love. Okay guys, so that is my final look for my wash and go. If you guys like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos like this, whether it's my wash and go, my bantu knots, or anything like that, leave that in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Look at that definition. Yes, girl. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can stay up to date with all of my videos. I don't think I have anything else left to tell you guys other than stay beautiful, stay true, stay you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.